there we go so today I have been playing a lot off camera with my Foy legacy save oh before I start that I want to show you something I have a new toy <laughs> I bit the bullet and bought myself a blue Yeti and I love it all to pieces because the audio quality is great and it gives me the capability of doing a lot of other projects that I have in mind outside of just streaming on Twitch. So I'm very, very happy with my purchase. It didn't cost um, nearly as much as I thought it would. And I happen to have the extra money, so I'm glad that I took advantage of it. So, back to my save. I am, I've been playing offline a lot with my Foy Legacy save. The last time we saw this family, there were eight Sims in the household. Now there are only five, six. So we've lost two household members. Vanessa here lost her husband, Rigoberto, unfortunately. She is going to be the next one to die i know this because mc command center tells me she has only two days left so i've been making the most of that time um on sunday sunday sims time but today here she and her two sisters took the day and went to sulani spent the day on the beach hanging out reminiscing meeting some of the locals um did a lot of playing in the water so you know just having that uh sister time together and um so we'll be saying goodbye to vanessa very very soon um Vanessa and Rigoberto have two daughters. So the youngest daughter is Lawanda. She aged up not long ago to a teen. Their eldest daughter, and this is Lawanda in the blue shirt, their eldest daughter is Cherish. Let me turn on all the lights so you can see. So this is Cherish. Cherish aged up a few days ago, uh, actually almost a week ago now, Cherish aged up to young adult. And losing her father really did a number on her. Her dad was extremely involved with her from the time she came into the world. I mean, if she made the slightest little peep indicating that she needed something before Vanessa could even move. Rigoberto was up. He was at the bassinet to see what was going on. He was also a stay-at-home dad. So Vanessa was working outside of the home and Rigoberto was a freelancer, a freelance artist. So he was home raising the girls while they were, um, while they were toddlers. Well, by the time Luanda was born, um, Cherish was already elementary school age so you know with, with Cherish Rigoberto was there day in and day out and so when her dad died that really hurt her in a serious way so she needed some time to find herself she didn't know what she wanted to do with her life she likes art um, she paints just like her father did but she wasn't sure that's what she wanted to do as a career she just knew that she needed to figure out who she was now that she didn't have her dad's presence in her life so she took four days and went to uh, went on a jungle adventure while she was there, she fell in love with archaeology, spent a lot of time exploring the jungle, um, getting up her archaeology skill. I think she's at archaeology level three now. Let me check. Um, she um, taught to the locals a lot. Yeah, she's she's 50 percent of the way, 54 percent complete with archaeology level three. So she spent a lot of time 
in the jungle, talking to the locals, learning their customs, um, getting to know their culture. And when she came back, she told her mom that she decided that since archaeology is not a career choice in the game anyway, that she would become a conservationist. And that would allow her to fight for the health and the beauty of the jungles where she spent those four days getting to know who she is and realizing that she can carry on even after the death of her father. So she's back home now and she's been working as a conservationist for maybe a week or so. And she's doing well. She's doing well for herself. Um, still, you know, you, you never get over losing a parent, but um, she is um, learning how to thrive in spite of that loss. Unfortunately, she got home just in time to see her uncle Caden die. Caden was the husband of her aunt Valerie. So Valerie is one of Vanessa's sisters. Valerie and Caden had a significant age difference. Um, Caden was an el elder. Valerie is just getting ready to age up. Are you going by? Oh. <laughs> um, okay, you're good. Valerie is just getting ready to age up to elder. So there was an age difference between them. Hello, T. <laughs> There is an age difference between them, but um, they had a real connection. There was genuine love between them. So the day, actually the moment that um, Cherish arrived back home, her uncle Caden died. Um, so Valerie, of course, mourned the loss of her husband, but she came through her mourning period pretty quickly. Um, it seems like a lot of times when the sins are mourning the loss of someone, it takes days and days and days for them to come through the grieving process. But in Valerie's case, it seemed to go fast. And I think that's because her sisters were there, her nieces were there, um, her brother-in-law, who you're going to meet in a minute, was also there. They were very supportive. She took time off from work so that she could grieve without having to worry about keeping up with what was going on on the job. So she's come through that and now she's starting to, uh, you know, live her life again, branch out. And there, there might be a little bit of a budding romance between her and uh, a fellow, a fellow who is a family friend. So we'll see. We'll see later on how that goes. The other two Sims are Aaliyah. Aaliyah and Valerie are twins. So they're twin sisters. They are Vanessa's two younger sisters. And Aaliyah's husband, oh, what is his name? Arav. So Aaliyah's husband, Arav. Um, so they live here. All of them live here in the old von Windenberg estate. They originally started out, well, when it was just um, Vanessa and her two sisters and their mom. And I think Rigoberto, I'm not sure if Rigoberto, I think, Rig, I think Vanessa was pregnant um, when they moved from Willow Creek to Windenburg because they needed a bigger house. They, had, they were quickly outgrowing the house that they were living in. So I've been living here on the Von Windenberg estate. And when Vanessa, um, not Vanessa, Cherish, when Cherish came home, she told her mom that she decided to be a conservationist. And her mom said, you know, why don't you create a library upstairs in my bedroom? And Cherish was like, no, mom, that's your bedroom. You know, I don't, I'm, I'm not trying to push you out of your bedroom. And Vanessa was like, look at all of this space in here. I, I can't use all of the space, especially now that your dad is gone. You know, there's so much room here. You know, I, there's, 
It's not like you'd be pushing me out of my room. I'd still have my bed. I'd still have my computer. I'd still have my dresser. But, you know, this whole, the sitting area and the, and the desk area over here, you could turn that into a library. And then you can properly display all of the artifacts that you brought back from your trip to the jungle, any artifacts that you bring back in future trips. I mean, you've gotten to the level where you can authenticate artifacts now. You need a space where you can do that. So that's mainly what we're going to do tonight. We are going to turn this bedroom upstairs into a bedroom slash library. And um, then after uh, Vanessa dies, we'll probably just have the whole upstairs. This, this whole large bedroom will probably be a library. I think when I first moved this in, this was not a bedroom. I don't think there was a door there, um, but I wanted this large room to be Vanessa and Rigoberto's because I wanted them to have enough space that they could keep the baby in the room with them until she aged up out of toddler into childhood. So that's where we are now. And let's see how I want to do this. Um, since I know, you know, of course, you know, Vanessa doesn't know, but since I know that Vanessa's not going to be around for much longer, I'm not going to make this into two separate rooms. I'm going to keep it as one large room because, like I said, ultimately, I'm going to uh, turn this whole upstairs into a uh, library. So let's see. Where do I want to start? I know I want to keep... This is Vanessa's desk. Wait, let me go into build mode. And I already saved my game, so I don't have to worry about that. So I know I want to keep Vanessa's desk. I'm not going to move her bed. I'm going to leave the screens so she'll continue to have some privacy. Well, really what we need up here is a bookcase. That's the first thing. That's the first thing. And um, these paintings, like I said, Rigoberto was an artist. So these paintings were his. And there is absolutely no way we're getting rid of those. Cherish would have a fit, let me tell you. So let me go downstairs. I think this big bookcase here would be better off upstairs. We got this from um, when Valerie got a promotion. She's a CEO now. I think when she got a promotion to CEO was when we got that bookcase. And this isn't this uh, Cherish. That is Cherish. Let me name this. Well, I'd have to wait until I'm in live mode to do that. I can leave that computer there. What is this? This is a medium surrealism painting. You know what? This we can sell. When I first started playing, I would keep every single photo, every single painting. And now I prefer to just keep the masterpieces and let the other ones go. Um, inspirational mouse poster. We have enough art. This one's normal, but I'm going to keep it anyway since I just got rid of, uh, of a painting. I can also get rid of this. This is custom content. And like I said, now we have enough sim generated art that I don't have to do that. We'll leave that there. Oh, I can get rid of this one too. Let's put this masterpiece. Well, this one's excellent, not a masterpiece, but still, we'll put that one over the bed. That's normal. This is normal. Let's put this by the door. And 
we can get rid of that. Rigoberto also tried his hand at making sculptures. We might put those uh, on a show. Oh, I never noticed this. Look at this texture here in the wall. That's cool. Some of this stuff is so realistic. It's incredible. Oh, I know what I'll do. We'll move this one over the nightstand. Move this one over the bed and put that one over the other nightstand. Okay. Yeah, that looks nice and balanced. All right. Oh, this is another poster. I can get rid of that one. 1800 dot simoleons. Come on. For a poster? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Okay. Um, I like this nook here for the desk. Though ideally, I would want to move it out. Oh, that's the other thing I can do. There's another computer downstairs. So for since this is going to be a library, the computers in the library will be unlocked for everyone. The computers in the bedrooms, I like to leave locked to everyone except household members. So this computer is Vanessa's computer. Um, she is a professional gamer. So she has this super fancy, ultra high speed looking <laughs> desktop computer. I will leave that one locked to everyone but household members for now. Um, do it. Let me move this over some. It would be nice to have a desk that has nothing on it so that like if someone wanted to sit and write notes or something like that they could um, let's move this for a moment and if I put this in front of the window then I can put a desk here. Mm. Oh, let's put a regular size desk, not a not a small one. Actually, I might change this one to a regular size desk too, just so that there's some continuity. Oh, we just have the, uh, yeah, speaking of continuity, let's, uh, we'll just copy the lacquered up console. That is not what I wanted to do. That is what I wanted to do. All right. A pencil case. Well, let's put a couple books on there. Some magazines up there too. That certainly fits. And, you know, you read in a library. What I've been looking for though is a pencil case, pencil holder. Here it is. This is my standby. I use that one all the time. And maybe a desk lamp. Okay. Alright. Now, 
Should I put another? Oh yeah, I want to put this computer on a standard desk. Let's just copy the uh, copy the chair too. There we go. Rid of that. Another bookcase would be very nice. And this will fit nicely between these two plant holders. Is there a white swatch? There's not. We'll use a light gray one. And put the other one there by the between the two windows yeah that's not covering up the window so that's perfect All right. now I could leave these two love seats but I think what I'll do Let's put a sofa instead. I mean, it's one less seat than two love seats, but we already added a seat by adding a desk. And I like the hipster hugger, so we're going to put that one upstairs. Right here on the other side of the shade. And we also need a table where I mean some of the archaeological artifacts and stuff can be displayed on the desk but I'm thinking a table in the center of the room would be better let's look at coffee tables I like the glass tables because they add a surface without seeming to add a lot of uh, clutter to the room, but, you know, because the surface is see-through. That looks nice. I mean, it's not centered with the sofa. It doesn't have to be. I can, it's not completely necessary, but you know, if I do that, I can always put, um, put an end table on the other side. I'll go with the glass end table. And a lamp because you know it's important to have good library lighting in libraries I like this lamp a lot it's nice and bright do I want the floor lamp version or the table lamp version eh, we'll go with the table lamp version Yeah, so the table's within arm's reach of the sofa. I'm not going to put anything on the coffee table from Build and Buy Mode because Cherish brought a whole bunch of artifacts back with her from Salvadorado. And those can go... I bet you this is a slot. Those can go on the table, on the desk. This is another one of her dad's uh, 
sculptures. Oh, you know what? I should make a shelf to put his sculptures on. Well, not make a shelf. Place a shelf. <laughs> I should place a shelf to put his sculptures on, which means I need to move the, pa the, uh, the paintings, and that's fine. Something simple like this. Two shelves is good. One. I think Vanessa would like being able to look at her late husband's handiwork while she's at her computer. She needs a desk lamp as well. I'll fix that for her in a second. What track is this? More scrubs. I think I want to buy that track. Let me save my game while I am going to buy that track real quick. There's a link. Oh, I had spelled it wrong. No wonder. No, I want to buy the track. I don't want whatever that thing is. Well, let me type in the correct spelling and see if I can find the track that way. Here we go. I'll check that out later because it says there are lyrics to that and they're rather uh, explicit. I would rather not have that version. Thank you very much. All right, my game is saved. Well, that certainly took long enough. I'll be able to add shelves to put some of the artifacts on too. Oh, this was... Uh, her dad brought this back. They took a trip to Sulani at some point. That Oh, that might have been the shell she brought back. No, I think her dad brought that back. But I know Cherish took a trip to Sulani with uh, one of her teen friends who also went on a bit of a... Uh, you know, trying to find herself kind of thing. She's a child of, her friend is a child of the island. She's still a teen, by the way. She'll probably be, be aging up soon. Um, but she's a child of the island. And one day got in contact with the spirits at Solani. And was like, who are you? Why are you here? And the spirits were like, oh, you have um, neglected your heritage we're not pleased I mean, she knew nothing about them come to find out apparently way back in her family tree somewhere there's a link to Sulani she didn't know that so now her friend is in the process of learning about uh, her Sulani heritage and um, trying to learn about the customs there okay I think this uh, this looks good it doesn't take 
over any of the bedroom part which was the whole point cherish didn't want isha hi shay oh my goodness i am doing great how are you <laughs> oh goodness it's so good to see you welcome so yeah i'm just finishing up a renovation like i was saying cherish didn't want to overtake her mom's bedroom but her mom insisted that she create a library in the sitting area part of the room so that she can do her uh, conservationist work so that's what you that's what we just finished doing originally there were two love seats in here really it was just the two love seats and the carpet when the family first moved in I it was either right before or right after Cherish was born so uh, Vanessa and Rigoberto had the bassinet in here with them and then when Cherish aged up to toddler she was able to stay in here with her parents her toddler bed was in here potty all of that stuff until she aged up to child and then she moved over into this room so now her younger sister Luanda has that room. Rigoberto has died. And uh, Vanessa felt like, you know, she really doesn't need all of that space to herself. So she let Cherish build a library where she'll be able to continue her study of archaeology and do the different projects and write reports and whatnot as she works as a conservationist. Oh, I'm glad you're doing well, Isha. Oh my gosh, girl, it, it it's what? One o'clock in the morning where you are? <laughs> well, okay, it is a Friday, so <laughs> I won't be too horrified by that. But yeah, I'm doing good. I am finishing up a week that started out um, very busy. And Monday was a very, very long day. I actually took the day off from work to accompany a family member to a very important doctor's appointment. And that literally took the whole day because I had to travel to the next state. Um, so I left the house, I think, at 7 or 7.30 and didn't get home until maybe 5.30. And I've been recovering ever since. <laughs> well, it, it wasn't that bad, but it was tiring. Tuesday, I was very, very tired. Um, but my week has been low key since then. Thanks. Thank goodness. All right. So it is 11 p.m. And everybody should be sleeping, I think. Yeah. Okay. Vanessa's going to bed. Who's up? Nobody's up everyone went back to bed so let's turn the lights auto lights all lights we'll turn the lights out and let this speed through the overnight I am getting a bit of a a lag but um, it's not too bad I'm just hoping that things are going okay on the stream side because I keep getting an error in OBS. It's going in and out saying that the encoding is overloaded. So it'll say encoding is overloaded and then it'll come back and it'll say nothing. So like everything is fine. So I'm really not sure what's going on with that or even how to fix it. I'm still learning OBS. One of the websites I read said the one of the easiest fixes is to change your video level, I think. I need to go back and read it. Um, but it didn't start giving me trouble until I started streaming. Everything was fine before I started the stream. And then it started saying, oh, my encoder is overloaded. Ah. I don't know. Technology is so wonderful until it's not. 
I've spent the whole day putting braids in my hair. Ooh, pictures in the Discord, please. I want to see. <laughs> I need to uh, take out my flat twists this weekend and wash my hair. But I'll probably wait until Sunday night to do that because we're planning to go to the beach on Sunday. And it doesn't make sense for me to wash my hair and then go and swim in salt water. Because <laughs> you know, when, when we wash our hair, it is an ordeal. It is not a simple thing. I'm good just reading for a course right now. Oh, what course are you reading for, Shay? Good luck with it, by the way. I was thinking about going back to school and my brain said, no, now is not the time for that. So I have to listen to my brain. My brain says she's tired. Oh, you know what? I wonder if I've got some other stuff. Uh running on this computer slowing stuff down let's close that because anything that takes up processing power is uh needs to go away okay Cause like my game is having trouble speeding through uh, the overnight, which is weird. It's never done that before. Oh, I know. Okay, do that and then let me minimize that window so that it knows it doesn't have to play the video. And let's see if that helps. Everyone's still sleeping at 9.30, almost 10 o'clock in the morning. See, that's what happens when you all stay up until like 3, 4 in the morning, Sims time. Yeah, I'm having, um, I'm having an issue with the encoder, and I haven't figured out how to fix it. It keeps telling me that the encoding is overloaded. But the, uh, let me see, wait, let me pause my game. Okay. I don't remember changing anything on the encoder, so I don't know why I would be getting this error tonight. And I have never gotten it before. So OBS is saying, encoding overloaded, consider turning down video settings or using a faster encoding preset. And I'm not sure what that means. I'm not good and I'm not finished, but I will post one. Okay, I want to see your braids. All right. Um, consider turning down video settings or using a faster encoding preset. So if I go to, see the general stream, output encoder, so the video bit rate I have is 5,800 kilobits per second. And I'm using the software encoder. Then it has audio bit rate. Oh, here we go. Encoder preset, very fast. I had to enable the advanced settings. Um, let's do medium and see what happens. So I'll hit okay. And I'll see if that helps at all.
because I'm getting even on my um, even on my monitor here on my computer I'm getting a bit of a lag and that normally doesn't happen I don't know what changed I'm not using a hub for my mic or oh, actually my mic is the only thing that has changed <laughs> The fact that I'm using a USB mic is the only thing that has changed. Yeah, it's very odd. It's still saying encoding overloaded. It's already turned. Let me see if I can turn the video I mean the video is smoother on my laptop now than it was because before even on my laptop it was uh, freezing I mean, right now I have the encoder preset set to medium and when I look at um, OBS here on my monitor the video pretty much matches real time um, the way I'm moving and the way I'm talking where before it wasn't doing that I'd never seen that before okay are you all honestly still sleeping or is the game just glitching let me go back out into manage worlds and then come back in and see if that helps. But at least my on-screen video has caught up. I don't know if it's caught up on the uh, stream, but I know it's caught up on my computer. Let's see if I fix this. It sounds like the audio is fine unless you're getting glitches in the audio as well I'm just reloading my web browser just to see if that catches up okay all right let me try it's still complaining about the encoding being overloaded so let me now I don't know what changing the encoder preset does to the video quality well the video and the audio quality so I reduced the encoding preset again and I'll see if that helps anything while I wait for my game to go up to manage worlds <laughs> I wonder what would happen if I put if I don't send let me see what happens if I come off cam See if that helps anything. Oh wait, what's that? Okay, that's me. Hey. <laughs> and I mean that's this is working fine. I'm not getting any kind of lag with that. Um this I can 
get rid of yes I do because it's in my audio mixer I don't need that on here all right and this is a laptop display okay all right let's see if that helps Ah, uh, we live and learn. We experiment, try different things, and see if it works. Oh, the video on Twitch is way behind where I am now, at least on, uh, on my, uh, computer it is but I've been having problems with twitch on different streamers channels where the video will glitch out or it'll freeze and you know I can still hear them it's obvious they're still doing their thing but for some reason on my end their video has stopped I'm not sure why Oh yeah, I have to remember that there is going to be some delay. You know, a slight delay between what I'm doing here and what uh, what's seen on the Twitch stream. That's just the nature of things. I haven't gotten any more dropped frames from OBS. I mean, the, the encoding overloaded message is still up, but I still have the same number of dropped frames that I did 10 minutes ago. It could just be the internet for today. Yeah, you know what? That's true. And we did recently have a storm. Um, Tropical Storm Isaiah came through here two days ago. There's still a lot of places that don't have power. So it might be affecting the internet as well. It would make perfect sense. Yesterday I couldn't stream because I had no internet. Yeah... Yeah, I know when the storm came through in this part of New York City, because we're further inland, we didn't get much. You know, we got a lot of rain and some wind, but in other parts of New York City, they had a lot of trees down and there were places where the power went out. Our apartment complex never lost, lost power. I don't know if other parts of our neighborhood did, but I know our apartment complex has its own generators. So we never lost power during the storm, but you're right. This this could be uh, partly storm related. Well, the encoding overloaded, I'm not sure is a storm related thing because I would think that's just related to my own machine, but there being a significant delay between what I'm doing here at my desk and what you all are seeing on Twitch, that could definitely be the internet. And I mean, my game just lags when I stream. That's just the nature of the beast because I have a six-year-old computer and that's how it goes. <laughs> so taking myself off the screen um, didn't make the encoding overloaded error go away. I have a feeling it's because I'm using this mic <laughs> and the, the computer is like, oh my God, I, I'm taking in, I, I would assume it's taking in a lot more audio info from this mic because it's plugged into the USB port than it would have been taking in from my um, headphone mic. I have this set to omnidirectional, so it's not like it's trying to get um, stereo, uh, st uh, stereo audio input, you know, multidirectional. So I'm not sure. It might just be because my computer is being taxed. I mean, my CPU is only at 40, 44, 45 percent where it's been hovering at. I think 
when I streamed last week before I got my mic, I think it was hovering around like 35, 40%. So it's not like it's blowing my CPU out the water. It's a good thing you still have your power. Yeah, we're very fortunate. We're very fortunate. Even some of my coworkers during the storm had to log out because, or were forcibly logged out because, you know, the they had no internet or they had no power. All right, you all still sleeping. I'm gonna wake every last one of you up because all of your energy is up. I know it's raining and rainy days are usually good days to sleep in. Maybe that's what's going on with you all. School for Lawanda does not start in an hour. It started four hours ago. Okay, my game is slow as hell. You know what? Lawanda's going to take a day off from school. <laughs> now it's trying to catch up with itself. Oh, that is so funny. It's like, she's going to go take a shower. No, wait, she's late for school. <laughs> All right, sweetheart, I'm going to cheat your needs because you didn't ask for this. The computer did it to you. So I'm going to fix all of this for all of you. Are you working today, Cherish? Follow the plan. No, you're not working today. Okay. Arav, are you working today? I'm not sure. Let me cheat all of your needs as well. They sound amazing. Why, thank you. <laughs> the The mic really does make a huge difference. I want him to go to work. I'm in sync now. Okay. All right. Yeah, and the error went away. So fingers crossed it stays away. It's, the error has been coming in and out. I may have to play with the settings on my computer just because, you know, I'm, I'm using... A better mic so it's more for my computer to keep track of webcam is good and sims is running okay all right thank you very much for letting me know you can do it little computer I should call it the little MacBook that could <laughs> By the end of this year, I would like to replace, well, not replace because I'm going to keep my MacBook Pro. I would like to add a Mac Mini. Oh, good. She's repairing it on her own. I would like to add a Mac Mini t and use that as my main computer and my streaming computer. Um, if I get a new Mac Mini, it won't cost nearly as much as if I buy a new MacBook Pro. It would also have an Ethernet port, so I would be able to use a wired connection to my router instead of um, Wi-Fi. And that would also improve my upload speeds. I keep finding that when I exit The Sims, it freezes and doesn't turn off. Oh no! Really? No, that doesn't happen for me. That should not happen. It freezes and doesn't turn off. What would make it do that? Okay, scavenge for parts. And we have a garden to tend to as well. Rigoberto used to do the garden. Too bad he's gone now. Tell you what, you come and do the garden. Because it was usually between you or Rigoberto who would take care of the garden. So I'll let that be your primary thing now when you're not working. Is your computer a newer computer, Isha, or is it an older one like mine? Because The Sims is, is pretty resource heavy, and um, you can probably hear when I'm not talking. You can probably hear the fan on my computer running very loudly, <laughs> and that's because my computer is going, what are you doing to me? 
Let's sew that away. Uh, very tense. What happened to you? The edge of a breakout from having a... Oh, dear Lord. The drama. Those teenage hormones are something else, man. Here, you need to find a quiet spot and write in your journal. Rant about your stress. That'll take the edge off. Seriously, child? Seriously? What? What is this? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> wow. Oh, let me unlock these computers in the library too, just to make sure that anyone who comes up can use them. So this one's going to be... Okay, this one's already unlocked. Oh, right, because I, I had moved that one out to the living room. Wanda is going through a phase. She will pick up an instrument any chance she gets, yell often, and turn all radios up to 11. Okay, that radios up to 11 thing, we're going to have to talk about, but there is a piano downstairs <laughs> that you are more than welcome to use. <laughs> Mods, maybe? Oh, you think maybe Mods is making your game freeze? It, it could be. You can try it. Um, take out all your mods. Take your whole mods folder and put it somewhere else. And then see what happens if you um, start the game and then exit it if it still freezes. If it doesn't, then yeah, you've got to figure out which mods are causing it. And make sure your mods are up to date too. I know um, MC Command Center just had an update. Was it today? It was either today or yesterday. It's an, oh, that's a new gaming PC. Okay, it's, it's not the PC then. It's definitely something like the mods. Either that or you need to repair your game. But it's definitely not your computer. Your computer is better than mine. <laughs> oh, Cherish, since you're up here, you've got all of these artifacts from your trip to Salvadorada. Let's... Oh, you know what? You need to authenticate this. Send away for authentication? I thought, um you had the level where you could authenticate stuff on your own. Let's put that there. Mm, what's this? Oh, you need to clean that up. No need to carry around spoiled food. Um, you don't need to keep the foss. Well, you do have an interest in archaeology, so you... Oh my god, that thing is gigantic. Okay, let's put it on the floor in front of the bookcase. And that as well. And that. And we may send those away for authentication. Put that there. Um, clean that up. Oh, this needs to go on a table. That is rare and very valuable. So let's stick this here. Uh, your laptop, your violin, your camera. Oh, that's your research data. Okay. That's this. Death Relic Base. I don't know what that is, but I will leave that in your inventory. Uh, what incredible research information could this sample contain? Oh, that's right. We got that from the... Um, from the waterfall in Sulani. Let's sell the school projects. You don't need those anymore. You're going to keep these supplies for when you go back for Salvadorado. And let's analyze that sample and see what it is. Also, I also have the Sims on my laptop, but I use that for personal gameplay. Yeah. We even have it on the PS4. Oh my goodness. But I can't build on that. The controls are too weird. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. I don't have a game console, so I, I've only played The Sims on uh, my laptop. 
Yeah, I will update them. Yeah, definitely update uh, MC Command Center. What? Oh no, something went horribly wrong. Whatever Cherish put in there destroyed the sample before any data could be gathered. Seriously? <laughs> Lord. Oh my gosh. All right, well, girl, you live and learn. So sorry, but is that floating? That is literally floating in the air. We don't want it to float. <laughs> That's, oh my gosh. Okay, I, I could, you know what? Let me stick it up here. And I wanna send this away since it won't let her authenticate it. Um. I wonder if I can use the archaeology table for that. Let's find out. Archaeology. Pop up archaeology workbench. Do we have a space for this in here? Oh my goodness. Okay. We're really, really running out of room here so let's put the archaeology workbench outside on this terrace that I have used for absolutely nothing since they moved here so we can put that there is there like a roof or something over this oh great it is covered awesome Awesome. Okay, yeah. Let me turn this around. I think I'm going to get rid of the uh, window boxes here just because they're in the way. I like window boxes, but I like the idea of this being like a little work corner that she can use for her archaeology stuff, especially since it's under a... Um, under a roof. Let's find a chair or a bench of some kind, something good for the outdoors. Got a few options here to choose. A folding chair is good. A folding chair. Oh, and that, that matches even. Okay. Cool. So we'll leave that there and a light in case she wants to work out here at night let's find a wall light outdoor wall sconce is there anything that's from seasons oceanside inspired paper lanterns no it's not a beach type Theme. Mm. I think this is that's gigantic I don't really like that one maybe this one that's also gigantic alright let's drop a ceiling light and there's probably something Salvadoradin that I can use something from Jungle Adventure. Yes. Yes. Rustic candle chandelier. That would work. I don't know how much light it will give. <laughs> Maybe there's something else. Oh, right, because these are medium height ceilings. Okay. These are medium height ceilings. So you need something a little longer. Let's use those. Let's see how that does. Evening. Oh, that's lovely. Okay. All right. We'll use those. And now let's see. If I click on the 
archaeology table will she be able to oh, let's put an inventory so at least I can have her take that with her on trips so let me put that back in her inventory now when I click on it oh okay that's what she needed she needed the table all right so I'll just put the artifacts back in her inventory and then she can authenticate them on the table and remove that Ooh, back some no it's just pretty big it's gonna take up a lot of space I think we'll get rid of the magazines too because this is really more for her archaeology than anything else Authenticate artifact. Did I unlock this? Yeah, it's unlocked. And now I can find myself some more music. Let's find some more music. Let's listen to Chill Hop Radio. Where'd you go? Okay, let's see if she can come out here. Go here. Where's she at? Okay, she can come out here. Why is she not authenticate artifact? What does she do when I tell her to do that? <laughs> she just kind of stands there. Oh. Oh, okay. So I had to bring you all the way out here for you to do that? All right, dear. If that's how you want to do it, we can do it that way. This sounds like an Andy Norell tune. Changed my mind. Let me see if I can find the name of this track. I like it a lot. I just have to change the uh, playback quality so I can actually read the No Spirit Saint Weekend. There we go. Now, of course, it's probably going to start playing right away, which I don't want it to. Oh, good. Okay. And then there's a link where I can buy it. Awesome. So that takes a while. So while she's doing that, how are you feeling, dear? Uh, seriously? It's cold outside. Why were you even out in the pool? Relax in a sauna. 
a sauna. There's no sauna in this house. You're going to catch pneumonia or something like that. Change your outfit right now. Don't you see the temperature being so low? No, it's not a hot day. It's a cold day. After careful analysis, Cherish has determined this artifact is genuine. Further analysis will allow Cherish to continue to hone her archaeology skill. Great. Well, since she has the table, she can do that further. And I, Oh, you're going to bed. Well, it is 11 o'clock, and you have school in the morning, so... But seriously, dear, it is way too... Is there anyone else who is in the pool? Because that is just ridiculous. <laughs> No, no one else was in the pool. That's because everyone else has common sense and was inside where there's a fire going and central heating is on. Arav, would you please get out of your sister-in-law's room? That's creepy. <laughs> you need to be working on your cooking skill anyway, and you're hungry. Well, someone made some pancakes. You made pancakes. Well, why did you make pancakes if you weren't going to eat them? Go ahead and eat. Yes. Yes. Yes? Yes. Coming by? Yes. Yes. Okay. Alrighty. You're good. No, sir. Don't just, oh, cherish blocked your way to the fridge, I presume. That's one thing that I don't like is... They won't stand in line to get to the fridge. So if one person is using the fridge, then and they need to get leftovers too, then they'll stand there and they'll wave their hands. Like, ah, I can't get to the fridge. And then the other thing that's annoying is that a sim will get something out of the fridge and then stand in front of the fridge to eat it. And I'm like, there are other sims in this house, like he's doing right now. <laughs> Dude. You have a whole island as well as a table to sit at where you can eat. You do not have to block everybody else's access to the fridge. I'm trying to figure out where I want to go uh, with this legacy. I don't have a particular storyline. I mean, I did. I came up with the storyline of Cherish being uh, very affected from losing her dad and going to Salvadorado. That enabled me to actually explore um, Jungle Adventure. It was my first time playing, really playing with Jungle Adventure. I had another family that had gone there I took them there on vacation but they didn't go there to explore the area they just went and they hung out and um, relaxed from their everyday life um, so when I had Cherish go there for four days it was my first time really exploring how to interact with the locals and all of that good stuff so I came up with that storyline. Um, oh yeah, I do want to explore um, Sulani with the young lady in the other family. Okay, you're tired. You need to go to bed. They say the way to please the spirits in Sulani is to get involved with their customs and all of that. Um, so I haven't quite figured out how to do that. You don't have much of a relationship with your uncle. You should chat with him more. And you do have to spread conservation awareness. That's part of your job. Oh, you've been doing that. Okay, great. We need to get your logic skill up too. But not tonight, I don't think. It's, it's 2 in the morning. So you need to use a bathroom and probably go to bed. I believe Cherish will be the one 
to get married and have kids so I can continue this family legacy. Probably not Luanda. Only because I don't want to get to the point again where I have so many Sims that I'm overwhelmed and can't keep track of them. All right, I have bathroom and then bed. You're going to be hurting when it's time for you to go to work. Are you working Saturday? Oh, no, it's Thursday. You're working Friday. Yes, you are. Oh, now we need... Oh, that's right. You just got a promotion. Okay. So we need to get your gourmet cooking skill up. And reviewing food or drink and writing a column. I mean, that's to help boost your job performance. But in order to get a promotion, we need to get your gourmet kicking skill up. So we'll be working on that. You're already at level five writing skill. That's actually how you met Aaliyah was in your writing club. I think he used to be the library librarian. That's how she met him because the writing club often meets at the Willow Creek Archives. And she invited him to join the writing club and the rest is history. And Vanessa, Vanessa is playing a video game. Vanessa is always playing video games, but to be fair, that is her job as a professional esports gamer. She was super proud of Cherish for, first of all, going out on her own to Salvadorado and being aware enough of what she needed to say, I need to take a few days for myself and figure out what I want to do with her life, with my life. So Vanessa was all for it. She said, if you need anything, call, but you go for as long as you need to. Our family has plenty of money, so you don't have to worry about it. And take that time to figure out what you want to do and to heal. You now Vanessa's mom Trinity was supportive of her girls, so it's uh, natural that the apple did not fall far from the tree. And Vanessa has always been supportive of of her girls. Even though Rigoberto was the one who was home with them until they reached school age. Uh, until the youngest reached school age, uh, Vanessa was still a steady presence in their lives and, you know, supporting them and their upbringing and, you know, helping them discover who they are as people instead of trying to live vicariously through them like some parents make the mistake of doing. School will be starting for her soon. Let's wake her up. Yes, yes, I know. Good morning, Valerie. Go to bathroom. Get something to eat. Let's see what's on. The agenda for today you have work in three hours I need to get your charisma and your logic skill up too I'm halfway tempted to cheat him because I've been <laughs> I've been trying for so long to get her charisma and logic up and I always get uh, you know distracted doing other things because those two skills 
especially the charisma skill, takes a long time to build. Logic, it seems like that will go up much faster than the charisma. Where are you? Did you go to school? No, go to school. It's 8 o'clock. The game is lagging a bit. That's why it doesn't realize it's time for her to go to school. Oh my god, I've been doing this for an hour and a half. How is that possible? <laughs> time flies when you're having fun. Alright, well, the game will catch up with itself at some point. Miss Valerie. I've been wanting to do more building than gameplay. Maybe when I stream, I want to stream again tomorrow. And maybe tomorrow I'll do building. Because I love to build. It really gets my creative juices flowing. Ooh. Oh, seriously? <laughs> You broke the sink. You left the bathroom nasty. That's, uh, I really don't want to replace it. I want it repaired. Fix that, please. And then clean that. I know you have a maid, but still. You should have been left for school. You should have been left for work. The game is lagging on itself again. He has work at one. She, oh, she has work in two days. Okay. So she can do her own thing today. And you have work at 10. So you're not going to have time to fix those things like you should. You're going to go into work. And you have work at 4. I think today is your last day with us, Vanessa. I'm pretty sure it is. So let's get you up. And let's have you cook a grand meal. So at least they'll have a good meal to remember you by. Good morning, Aaliyah. Your needs are just atrocious. You're not working today, so we have time to take care of you. I'm going to have you spend a lot of time with Vanessa. Okay, you should be heading to work. Sad. <laughs> Low social. Okay, dear. Go to school. That'll get your social up. Yes, Cherish went to work. Wanda went to school. Valerie, you're supposed to be going to work, too. Like, now. You're feeling inspired. Talk about dreams. Ask her about her day. What do you plan to do today, sis? While I'm at work. Oh, Aaliyah and I are going to spend the day together. Chewing the fat. It's kind of warm today, huh? We can put this fire out. Who else is up? Aaliyah's taking care of her atrocious needs. 
Arav, you're, you're good energy wise. So come put out the fire. It's kind of warm and the heat is on. I don't want everyone in the house baking because I know how you all do. You will stand around talking about how you're baking instead of just walking over to the fire and putting it out or instead of walking over to the thermostat and turning it down. How about you come and take care of the garden today? I don't think you've done that yet. Oh, Vanessa just uh, maxed out her cooking skill. All right. Oh, that's right. I forgot the sink is running. Bye, Valerie. Have a good day at work. Okay, Arav, when you're done with that, when you're done with that, I'm going to have you come and fix the sink. And Vanessa, you need to eat. Come sit, please. Don't block the fridge. Thank you. We just had a discussion about that. You come and eat as well. Cherish finished a task earlier than she expected. What should she do? Let's research art. A brief glimpse of aesthetic beauty inspires Cherish to incorporate these elements into her day-to-day -day tasks. Everyone immediately notices the change and praises Cherish for her outside-the-box thinking. Marvelous. What? You're actually coming to sit down instead of blocking the fridge? I am stunned. Shocked. Amazed. Great. Now, please, Arav, would you mop this floor? This is a mess. I know. I know you're squeamish. I understand. However, it needs to be done. It's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. All right. Let me check your time. She has one day left. Let's have... Uh, let's see, Foy Fusion, Powerhouse, or Technology Geniuses. Um, let's have Technology... Darian, what in the world are you wearing? My goodness, that's different. Okay. <laughs> Wow, I was not expecting that. We have Darth Maul in Technology Geniuses. I, I, mm. <laughs> and Darian is one of my Sims. I do not remember dressing him as Darth Maul, but you know, Sims gonna Sim. They do their own thing. And if Darian wants to be Darth Maul, I guess he's Darth Maul. You didn't clean that toilet, did you, Arav? Yes, I know. I know you're squeamish. I know. But... Oh, well, the maid finally showed up at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Thank you for speed cleaning the toilet. I appreciate it. Alright, so before you guests get here... You should get dressed. Yeah, we'll just put you in your everyday outfit. Full disclosure. I have a couple of hours of work left to do for my day job. Well, I think an hour and a half. But um, my brain had enough, so I decided to 
complete that last hour and a half over the weekend. So I'll probably do it tomorrow or get it out of the way because uh, we want to go to the beach with friends on Sunday. And I would rather do that knowing I don't have to come home and work. Where is everybody? They're not out here in the greenhouse. They're not in the pool. Unless everybody's working. Did they come in and go upstairs? No, they're not in the library. But I'm getting club points. So I don't know where people went to. That's okay. Uh, let's see program do rocket science thank you Darian that's so much more appropriate use a microscope fix objects or use a telescope well we don't have these three things you know what I should build a place I should build a technology geniuses club hangout that has all of these things as well as a bunch of computers Hmm. And now I'm getting an idea. <laughs> now I'm getting an idea. And the Windenburg estate, the von Windenburg estate, is, oh, there they are, is large enough that I could build it here. Oh, this is going to be good. All right, new plan. Build mode. <laughs> build mode. Wait, if I put it on the Von Windenberg estate, um, Vanessa is the only member of this household who is a part of Technology Geniuses. So if I put it on the Von Windenberg estate, once Vanessa dies, well, uh, once Vanessa dies, they won't have access to the rest of the estate. They'll only have access to the Technology Geniuses hangout. So rather than put it here, I should put it on a lot that's not residential. I'll put it on a non-residential lot. So which lot would that be? Let's save and go to Manage Worlds. Let's figure this out, shall we? Do I want to put it in Windenburg? All the cool stuff is in Windenburg. Let's see, I have, I don't, unless I wanted to get rid of or change up the park, San Mashuno isn't really an option, but you would think that you would find a lot of technology in a city. So San Mashuno might be the most obvious choice. And I'm saying that as a city girl because I grew up right outside of New York City. I was born in Brooklyn. I live in New York City now. Um, most of the time when you find technology centers, you find them in cities or the city gets built around the tech center. So thinking of like Research Triangle in North Carolina that's in uh, the Raleigh-Durham area, um, outside of Raleigh-Durham is more suburban, even rural, but Raleigh-Durham is um, a city area and that's where Research Triangle is because that's where um, Duke University is and all of that kind of stuff and there's like a, a veterinary college I think in Raleigh and you know so there, there's a lot of technology that happens 
that seems to happen around city centers. So maybe I can find a spot in San Mashuno, maybe part of the park. Let's see, let me get rid of these so I can see. Okay, San Mashuno, what is in San Mashuno? This is another world that I'm still exploring. There's a residential lot in San Mashuno that's not an apartment building? That's amazing. I'm going to have to see. <laughs> I only recently um, bought City Living, so I'm still getting to know San Mashuno. Okay, so there's Planet Honey Pop. I know that there's a park nearby. Um, uptown. This is a gem. I don't want to get rid of the gem. There's the art center here. Caspa Gallery. My Shuno Meadows. I'm thinking I need to make part of my Shuno Meadows a tech center. So that would involve a computer lab, restrooms, of course, a telescope or two. No, probably one because uh, observatories are fairly large. So one telescope and the microscope is large but i might want two um, because if it's a tech center slash research center you would expect that i should probably put some archaeology tables in there hmm. and because of the lag I may need to make this a speed build video but because I'm not sure how the recording is going to come out here on my machine it looks like right now OBS has caught up with itself and I haven't gotten the encoder uh, encoder overload error in quite a while maybe upwards of an hour so uh, well, maybe not an hour, because I've only been recording an hour and a half. I got that error a lot. So maybe 45 minutes. I haven't gotten that error. So I think I'm good with that. Let's see, once the park loads in build mode. And then if I want to do a speed build, I can always just uh, clip this. Oh, there's already an <clears throat> excuse me. There's already an observatory in the park. I forgot about that. I actually had uh, my couple in rags to riches get married here. Okay, let's see. I think I would take one corner of the park maybe right across from this building and turn that or maybe just build the tech center around the observatory. I don't want to destroy the trees and that means getting rid of some of the terrain paint or rerouting the terrain paint because see how here there's a path from the building um, down to this uh, cherry tree and then the path goes to the left. If I put the tech building where the observatory is, that path will need to be rerouted so that people can still get to the uh, fountain there. Okay, let's start putting down some walls. So if it's going to be a tech building, it should be, oh, that would be perfect because then the entrance could be right on, right near here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. So if it's a tech building, it needs to be pretty big.
Well, it doesn't have to be too big, though, because the observatory really should be outside. See, I was thinking about making it so that only the tech club could use the observatory, but that's not fair to everyone else. tech building here. It's not that large, but it can be more than one story. And I think I want to use, pardon me, I think I want to use short, short height walls. like making things accessible. However, I also like the idea of there being stairs leading up to the front of the building. So let's imagine that there is also a ramp that leads to the front of the building. Let's get rid of these, they're in the way. LH, Machino Meadows and Labs. <laughs> There'll be more than one computer lab, I think. This is going to be, you know, a, like a glass box because that's what tech buildings tend to be, really, glass boxes. I mean, once in a while you get lucky and you get one that um, actually has some character built into it, you know. But most of the time, at least in this day and age, they're just glass boxes. Um, let's get rid of these as well. I think I would rather put something larger street lights. I'll see what there is, but I do want there to be a patio. Maybe there can be a coffee, uh, like a coffee shop or something. I don't have um, dine out, so I can't build an actual coffee shop, but I can build something at least, well, Actually, that's not true. I mean, I don't have dine out. That's true. But there is a coffee shop in the game. Okay. Um, first things first. Let's build a deck. And it's going to be... It's going to be a square deck. Because it's just going to be on the back of the building. I'm not going to... I don't think I'm going to wrap it around then it would block that path but I can always reroute the path let me see what this looks like yeah I don't want to block that path but let me move it there just a bit and now I can wrap it around <clears throat> so if we do an L-shaped deck, like so. And let's bring that out. Bring this out to here. And bring that out one. And also bring this over a little bit more. Uh, 
And do I want the deck to come even with the end of the building? No, let's not. Let's not do that. Okay. Great. Hmm. So most of the first floor is probably going to be the coffee shop, which means we need a second floor. Oh, I do not want tall height walls. No, no. I want short walls. Okay, did I make the ground floor tall height? I meant to make it short. No, it's short. Okay. All right, and um, there needs to be stairs. I'd like for the stairs to be in the center because that just makes sense. And let's make them kind of open. So I want the stairs. Yeah, let's have the stairs start out here. And I want them to be uh, I don't know if I can make them too wide, only because of the... No, I don't want to move that part. I mean, I do want it like that, just not there. Okay, I'll just have to rotate the... Uh, rotate the whole staircase. Oh man, this is slow. I'll be better off doing this off camera. Did you, did you rotate it all? Okay, now you rotated. Okay. Um, there. And then let's uh, can I rotate it again? Oh. Okay. I'm, I'm figuring this out. Uh, that's not quite what I had in mind. I don't think I can rotate it back on itself again. What does that do? Oh, that makes that longer. Okay. Oh, there it goes. That's what I wanted. Okay. So that's what I wanted. Now let's, yeah, I know it can't intersect with walls. I'm not trying to intersect with walls. Put that there. And then can I bring it up? Okay, right. And then that breaks it in two, okay. Now, okay, where's the bottom of the stairs? That's the bottom of the stairs. All right. So let's put the bottom of the stairs there. Yes, that's what I wanted. Okay, can I get some lights in here? <laughs> I need to be able to see. Uh, 
we're going to use the subtle saucer light because that is like you know your modern ceiling lights we put four down there we put four up here and then of course I can move them around as I decide where the computer labs and all of that stuff are gonna go there we are uh, let's move the stairs up again I don't want them right in the middle of the room Yeah, because I want this back area to be for the cafe. And I'll probably have a computer lab. I'm going to put some more walls down. So I'm thinking so this is an open staircase. But I can put... computer lab there how many computers would fit in there though I don't think many this building's not as big as I thought it was <laughs> um, unless I move what happens if I move this to this side of the building and then bring it back some. Like so. Oh gosh, I forgot the door. Wait, what happened? Oh, I know what happened. Okay, this needs to come out. Because I moved the room and it took it took the outside wall with it. Okay, that's better. Um, so you have you can have a computer lab here. And let me put the front door in. I don't want to forget that. What am I building? I am building a hangout for the my Technology Geniuses Club. So I started a Technology Geniuses Club meeting at uh, Vanessa's house, the Von Windenberg Estate. And I realized that by it being on a residential lot, um, it's not as easy access to everyone else. And I also decided that I would rather have that meetup in uh, San Maishuno because a lot of times you find technology centers in cities. So you might, you'll have a technology center and then a city may get built around it just like you know, like what happens with universities, which often are technology centers. So I decided to put it in San Maishuno and I am putting it in my Shuno metal, Meadows. So I think we're gonna, what I'm going to do is have one computer lab that's only for the technology geniuses. Maybe have one of the, um, so there's going to be more than one microscope. Have at maybe one of the microscopes or both of the microscopes only be accessed um have access by the technology geniuses, but the rest of it, there'll be other computer labs that other Sims can use, as well as a coffee shop in the back. So that is my plan. And let's see how well I do at bringing it to fruition. <laughs> yes, I need to save my game. I do I also want to put that there now saving my game may take a minute because it can be kind of slow so while it's saving let me 
Oh, okay. My music is still on. I couldn't hear it because my headphones, the way the dial is positioned, it often rubs against my belly and it automatically turns my music in my headphones off. <laughs> okay, that didn't take too long. All right, let's put some stairs outside so people can get into the building. 30 stairs, they don't have to be anything special. Oh, seriously? I don't want the door there. I want the door here. Thank you. Yes, I'm being difficult because I can be. <laughs> and this is going to be a modern building like most um, tech type buildings unless they're top secret they're mostly just glass and steel so that's mainly what this building is going to be so let's find a foundation if we're talking glass and steel and we're talking um, heavy electron microscopes then we most likely are talking the Armageddon Foundation foundation and let's start putting windows like I said glass and steel so big old windows downstairs we're, and upstairs of course but we're not upstairs yet we're just downstairs I guess there can be uh, Something can be said for glass and steel. I personally don't find it very beautiful. Um, I find it functional in terms of letting in a lot of natural light. I think that's a great thing. But I'm also the kind of person who doesn't like, uh, doesn't really enjoy, say, modern music, modern classical music, for instance. I prefer traditional classical music. And same with jazz, more modern jazz. I would say in terms of the jazz timeline, uh, Wayne Shorter is probably as modern as I can take and truly enjoy. Anything more modern than Wayne Shorter a lot of times just sounds like noise to me. And I'm sure there's some modern music aficionados who are cringing and wondering what kind of heathen I am <laughs> and I said what I said <laughs> I like what I like and I've learned to let other people like what they like and it's okay if I don't like the same thing it's funny though I've, I've always tended to think I'm supposed to change to like what other people like I don't so much think that other people are supposed to change to like what I like. Um, and, and there are reasons for that. A lot of it most likely having to do with upbringing. All right, so those are the outside windows. Now the inside, um, hmm. Uh, let me choose a wallpaper for the outside too. It's just going to be something, uh, something simple, a simple paint, like a grayish, yeah, 
pure expressions will work. Something that'll match. Something that will match the foundation. What's this? Afternoon, evening, morning. Yeah, let me do morning light. Okay, most spaces like this, um, if there's a patio outside, generally it's concrete. So I will leave that, but I want to change the railing. It'll probably be aluminum if they have one. Let's replace fences. Okay. Oh, they do. Uh, not so much. I don't like that one. Mm, that's okay, but I don't need something fancy like that. We're thinking tech. No. Okay, that kind of fancy, sure. <laughs> uh, curved iron, maybe? No, that's too low. Wrought iron. Oh, that'll work. I mean, it has a more traditional look to it than modern, but I think it would either be that or a, um, a wall of some kind. I think I want, I don't want it so dark. This one might be better. Yeah, I like this one better. There, that tree is in my way. There. Oh, that first one hadn't hadn't replaced, but that's okay. Okay, so this is going to be uh, tables. There'll be tables on the patio, and there'll be tables in here, and then the coffee shop will be in this corner over here. I hope I made that large enough. Let's check. Portable bar, bar encounter. Oh, counters. They would have the counter like is is in the coffee shop in here. I should look at the coffee shop to see what they have. Well, I'll figure that out later. I don't want to worry about that right now. Okay, so this is going to be a computer lab. Um, we are going to have plain white walls. stairs as well. The floors are going to be tiled because that's usually what I find when I go into buildings like this. Not terracotta. It's glaze. Grounded. I don't want to use custom content because I likely will want to load this to the gallery. Oh, that's perfect. So we'll put these tiles. And I mean, they're from the city living pack, so of course they'd be perfect. And let me put more windows upstairs until I figure out where I want everything and I'll have to uh, copy the wallpaper from downstairs as well. And 
and then I need some of the narrow windows. This is fun. <laughs> okay, that one's too wide. Oh, this is the one I'm looking for. Nope, it's not. It's too tall. Way too tall. That's the one. And of course, I'm going to add a railing so that Sims will not fall to their deaths going up and down the stairs. Ser oh, okay. <laughs> I thought I had placed it definitely where I did not want it to go. All right, so let's add a railing to these stairs. I thought I had made those stairs open. What st oh, they are. Okay, it was just the way I was looking at it. Okay, so let's choose a railing. Ported safety with a metal trim and stylish wood paneling. Ah, uh, do I want wood? I'm not sure. Galvanized. I may do the this one. Yeah, I like that a lot. And we're going to put something similar upstairs so Sims will not fall this one here Perfect. Okay. Let's put the microscopes. The microscopes probably should have gone downstairs because you would think they'll be very heavy. So I think what I'll do is this will be a microscope room. And then the computer labs will be upstairs. Microscope. Um, need to turn it the other way. And that gives me just enough room to fit a door. Would we want windows? I'm not sure we would want windows. Um, only because I'm thinking you need for there to be limited light coming in at the sides. I mean, that's just my guess. Let me put this uh, wallpaper upstairs too while I'm thinking about it. And I already did the wallpaper inside. So I think you would want this area to be darker. But maybe there can be the one window. We can have the one window here. And let me do the exact same thing on the... Oh, no, wait. Oh, no, I can't. Because the Sims can walk through under the stairs to get to the cafe. Um, so let's copy this room.
marvelous. And get rid of these three windows. And there needs to be doors so that people can get in. Mm -hmm. Club door. Hmm. Okay. One of these will be a club door and the other will not. And since this is for technology geniuses, we're going to use that door. Oops, I need it to be the other way around. Okay. Yeah, perfect. And then we'll copy it and use it on the other side. Well, no, actually, I only want one of them to be um, a club door. The other one, I want anyone to be able to use. Um, but not that one. Is there a similar door with a window in it? Oh, it doesn't look like it came from a house. Oh, this would work. Mm -hmm. Let's see if there's a, a door that's a little bit lighter gray. If not, that's okay. No, there's not. Okay. Alright. Oh, I need a railing for these stairs. I also need to match the wallpaper. Um, can I change the stair color? Maybe make it darker. What stairs are these? Sturdy stairs. a little bit better. I don't need it quite so dark though. Okay, that's better. It's closer to the uh, foundation. Um, oh. And then we'll put a rail. This one can be metal because it's outside. You know, glass and steel, like I said. I would like for that to be wider, but for that to happen, I need to put a deck on the front. And I really don't want to do that because I want to leave space for people to come in here and not have to walk, come in through the hedge and not have to walk way out towards the left to get to the stairs to get into the building okay so that'll be the downstairs and I haven't done haven't done the cafe yet but I will I need to figure out how to do the cafe that's gonna be the main challenge because I know um, there are a couple of cafes in Windenburg so there is the ability to have a cafe. But I need to figure out what the uh, what the uh, build items are that I would use. All right. And upstairs will be computer labs. 
Yes, and I believe those should be at the back just so that I can make a nice square rows. So there will be two computer labs. I might even add a third floor. One of the computer labs will be just for my Technology Geniuses Club. And how did they ask? How do you ask? Did they get rooms just for them? The same way Spin Masters are the only ones that have access to the bar and the dance floor downstairs at Pan Europa Disco. And again, those are small, but that's okay. They don't have to be super large. And then I, I'll put lounge chairs, you know, like sofas and whatnot, so people can sit out here and uh, maybe a couple of tables so people can sit out here and read. Um, it might be nice to make one of these a little bit larger. I think I'm going to do that. I'd like the one that's available to everyone to take up more space. You know, in the club room, it can be smaller. It doesn't have to... Uh, it doesn't have to be as large as the other one. So we can move the door here and get rid of those walls. And then I also want to change this window and there'll be the narrow window on the inside, narrow window on the outside, and the computer labs can have uh, can have windows. That's fine. And again, plain white walls because they are computer labs. And they are fairly sterile. Okay, we still have the fancy tiles. That's good. So those will be on the floor. And then I can make this room slightly larger. Just slightly, though. Like so. And then I'll change this window. That way the wall's not cutting in the middle of the window. I don't want that there. That was an accident. Yeah. I have a vision and it's coming to fruit. Oh, I don't think I can have a third floor. I don't think I need one though. Because what did I want? I wanted computer labs, microscopes, and an observatory. There's already an observatory in the park. And I don't want to close off access to that to everyone else. I could put a second observatory. Um, but observatories are pretty big. <laughs> I mean, okay, so are electron microscopes, but, you know. Yeah, so then I'll put a, put a couple of love seats out here on the landing. Let's get the computer lab set up. Okay, so let me see how many... De actually, I'm not going to use desks. I'll use dining tables because... With dining tables, 
you can fit two computers. That's a trick I learned from looking at what they did in Willow Creek Library. Those are all dining tables. And that's how they were able to get more than one computer on the table. See, so I can use a simplicity table, or I think there's a slightly longer. No, the simplicity table is fine. So I, I think in Willow Creek Archive, they used these, they used the mega table. But I don't need anything. I want, since this is a modern building, I want there to be clean lines. Um, hmm. I can put one there. Oh, this is smaller than I expected it to be. So there'll be two computers there. Okay. And two more computers, which means I may need to slide the door over. I don't want it all the way in the corner, but just to make sure they can um, get in and out of the chairs. And simple desk chairs. Okay. And there will be four computers. They'll get the unbreakable ones. Because, you know, technology geniuses and all that. Yeah, I'd hope to have a little bit more room, but, but, four computers is good. Um, we need books. Oh my goodness, it's 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock here. Oh, those won't go on the shelf. Fine. Fine. I'll put them here. Um, because there's no space to put a bookshelf on the wall inside. One can go on the wall outside, which is fine. And then this. come off um, so then would I need these shelves I don't think so I don't think so and then I'll set up this one similar okay I didn't realize how late it is here it's 10 o'clock let me save and how long have I been at this? Oh, two and a half hours. Okay, yeah, no wonder I'm tired and hungry. I need to eat dinner. <laughs> I very, very much need to eat dinner. So I am going to work on this some more off stream. If I remember, I will record <laughs> while I'm working on it so that I can do a speed build. Uh, a speed build video put it on YouTube and then I can show you all the final um, final the finished product but thank you so much for sitting with me while I stream 
and thank you for your patience while I dealt with technical difficulties. I think I have things fixed now where the uh, OBS encoder is not overloaded. I haven't gotten that error in a couple of hours now. I'm very happy about that. And I am going to read more, read up on that more, just so that I really understand what I'm doing. OBS is brand new to me. I've only been streaming for a couple of months now. Um, so I have a lot to learn. Thank you very much for your patience while I continue to learn. All right, it is Friday. I would assume that there is someone around here who is live, who I follow. Let's see, Spring Sims is live. Fitness to Cosplay is live. Let's do Fitness to Cosplay. We are going to, let's see, it says that they're playing The Sims 4. Let's see. Once my screen loads up. Oh, nice. Let's get the super sim through college. Okay, yes. We are going to raid Fitness to Cosplay. I've not been able to catch them in a while. Let me shut my music off. All right, where do I? I need to go back to my channel settings. Where is this? Creator dashboard, please. And let me stop this one because it's slowing me down. There we go. All right manager oh no no let's turn that off I don't need that that's gonna just slow things down I just need to get to my little control window so that I can send you all so I can send you all to fitness to cosplay Alright, let's see if this works. Alright, thank you again for being with me tonight. And I hope to stream again tomorrow. I plan to be at the beach on Saturday, on Sunday, so I will not be streaming on Sunday. But um, I will see you all next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.